So my name is uh, Steve Irvin. I'm the founder and CEO of a company called Integrate AI. So what we do is we help larger traditional companies compete with the uh, digital disruptors. Um, traditionally focused on retail banking, telecommunications, and uh, retail. And what we try to do is we try to get in and say, their journey to look more like a Netflix and not end up like Blockbuster uh, is different than a Netflix would be. They don't get to start from scratch. They have a lot of legacy technology. Uh, and the question is, how do you utilize the existing tech stack but add a layer of intelligence so that you can start to understand more what your customers want and then be able to quickly in real time make better decisions that lead to more profitable outcomes? So one of the things that we really focus on is this idea of customer centricity, which is how do you have a better understanding in real time as to why you're showing up? We're going and trying to find, like, can we make a prediction when somebody shows up as to why they're there? And can you use that prediction to try to then create an experience for them that reduces friction and ultimately gets them what they want faster, resulting in more loyalty, spending more money with you, but feeling better about the experience, uh, which has been a huge challenge for a lot of these traditional companies. Well, the fundamental thesis of the business is that getting to know your customers better and actually giving them what they want is good business. And we've gotten away from that. Like, the, the relationship between a lot of businesses and consumers is really broken. And I think what people are seeing now with, like, the Amazons and Netflix, the Googles of this world is, oh, it doesn't need to work this way. I can kind of show up and the experience can be curated for me and I can get to what I want faster. And that expectation is now the baseline for all these traditional businesses. But you know, 99% of companies are not anywhere close to being there. And so the question is, how do they accelerate their path to competing in this new digital age? Big focus for us, I think, is helping shepherd a lot of these big companies through this transitionary period. And at the same time, um, one of the core features that we've got in our platform is what we call the Trusted Signals Exchange, which is a way to be able to pass intelligence on interactions with consumers um, between businesses uh, without ever using personally identifiable information or doing anything um, that would compromise the individual's privacy. If you can learn from interaction patterns, and that leads to a better experience for me, like that's the panacea for both consumers and businesses. So I think as, as we move forward, what you're gonna see is uh, our Trusted Signals Exchange is gonna be hopefully the default standard for a lot of businesses to be able to get in the game. Um, and that on the back end of that, you're going to see billions of consumers that are going to live better lives and feel better about the decisions that are being made on them, hopefully less disadvantaged, um, because the decisions are being taken by a system that cares. AWS has been a great partner for us. Um, we use, a couple things jump to mind for me. Uh, we use EMR and a lot of the encryption facilities to be able to keep our customer data safe, which is a huge part of our business, like trust is our business and we trust AWS uh, as a partner for us on that front. Um, the other main one is we do a lot of research in the company. Um, so this ability to burst allocate um, GPUs as an example uh, is very helpful for us to be able to kind of scale up and down the business in a way that economically is much more advantageous for us at this stage um, than the alternatives. Um, so we, we've relied, you know, really from day one on AWS as a really core partner for us, and I think for all the areas that we've needed you, you've been great.